No, 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 no. Don't hang up again, okay? No, I said I was sorry about last night. I mean it, okay? Yeah. Well, we just have to be realistic about this. No. You're not listening to me. See, you're not listening to me again. Well, I have a say in this too, don't I? Okay, then. Well, it's... Well, it's not gonna work. No, no, it's not gonna work. I mean, you gotta think about these things, don't you? I mean, how are you gonna... How are we gonna... I mean, you gotta think... Well, I mean... Yeah, no, well, we got to do it. Yeah. We, yeah. Oh, fuck that. Come on. I don't need a goddamn. Hello? Hello? trying to call you. You didn't return my calls. You did? You been trying? Yeah, didn't Alice tell you I called you up? Well, yeah. Maybe uh, a couple months ago. I don't know. Yeah, in May. Yeah, maybe, yeah, in May. I was wondering how you were doing, what you were doing. I'm a millionaire. <laughs> now, I've just been working six, seven days a week, trying to log as much OT as I can before the river freezes over, you know? Up and down, up and down, up and down. <sighs> hey. I missed you, fucker. I, mean, I didn't mean anything by the job, you know? I mean, everything just got out of hand. Well, I didn't call you down here to ask for my job back, okay? So we get that straight, are you know? That's good. Why did you call me down here? I called you down here to beat your fucking face. No, just kidding. <laughs> you want a drink? Hey, Charlie, let's get a couple boilermakers for me and Eddie, all right? Want to shoot some? Come on. We 
where you go on that thing? On the boat? Yeah. Just short runs between here and the cross. I thought you went all the way down river. Oh, you thought I went to... <laughs> to New Orleans. No, no, just, just short runs. Crazy. I had this huge fucking fight with her last night in the cross before I came up here. And, and when I got off work, you know, I called her, tried to tell her I'm sorry, you know, and dance her into having an abortion. She won't go for it. She's hung up on me. She loves my ass. She wants to have the kid. Let her have it then. I can't afford two families. Are you crazy? I mean, you've you've told her you're married, right? No, I haven't told her I'm married yet. You haven't? No. What does she think? I mean, does she want you to marry her or what? Probably. What do you think? Well, I think you gotta tell her the truth. She knows my name, and if she calls the house and talks to Alice, I am dead. I'm out. No family, nothing. That's what I'm saying. I mean, that's why you gotta get to her first. I gotta get a drink. Thing is, I always use a rubber. I'm not stupid. What bothers me is that one time when we were done chopping, you know, she got up out of the bed. She took the rubber with her into the bathroom and she was in there a long time. I think she smeared it in herself. <laughs> got herself pregnant. This is the most ridiculous fucking thing I've ever heard in my life. No, I, I should take her to court for theft of semen. <laughs> Laugh you right out of the face. No, I could win, too. Maybe you could settle out of court and get your rubber back. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, what do you think? Do you know what I think? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. What I think is, is that you've got a wife, you've got two kids, you've got responsibilities, you're lucky. You better call this chick. No, I can't call her. I've been trying all day. Her phone's off the hook. It's well, busy. Telegraph her or drive down there, but you gotta get through to her. I gotta get out of here. Where are you going? I gotta do some Christmas shopping. Hey, Eddie. Why don't you ride down there with me? Is that why you called me up? No, I just called you up, you know, come down and have some drinks with me and stuff. You haven't called me for six fucking months. And when you do, it's to drag me into this shit. No, I just want you to ride down there with me. It's no big deal. Look, Billy. Look. This is your wife. It's your paternity suit. It's your problem. I'm not going to get involved in it. You don't have to get involved. I'm just going to drive down there. You know, it's a boring drive down there. Listen to me. No, it, no, no, you're not listening to me. It's your problem. You're going to have to deal with it. I mean, how many times do I have to tell you? Okay. You can just sit outside. You don't even have to come in. No. I'm scared to face her, man. No way. You got the time. Just a favor, Eddie. That's all I'm asking. I don't owe you shit. You owe me a favor. Bullshit. I think it might be the other way around, pal. What, you fucker? You wouldn't back me up when things got heavy at the garage. Bullshit. No, you wouldn't stand behind me when they wanted to let me go. After all the shit I went through to get the gig, to become a mechanic, all that training and shit. I tried to back you up. I told you what you had to do. But, but you wouldn't hold up your end of the deal. Oh, bullshit. You were just too paranoid about losing your own job and too busy kissing Lou's ass because you knew he was going to retire. That's not the way it went down, oh. and you know it. Oh, no shit. Okay. How'd it go down, Eddie? 
What went down was, is that when I came on the job, you thought you could do any old fucking thing you wanted to. No, no, you thought that you were going to get Lou's job. And you got such a fucking big head because you thought you were going to be the quarterback around there that you thought you owned the fucking place. Yeah, well, the rules are the rules, pal. I didn't make them up. Right. The rules are the rules when you got a white collar on, but when you got a blue collar on, the rules are just somebody fucking with you. You were fucking up long before that, man. Right. And when I came on the job, you started to fuck up even more. You, you came in late, you punched out early. Some days you didn't even come in at all. I don't need your fucking job. That's not the point. You're talking time clock, you're talking punch clock, you're talking rules, and I'm talking buddies here. And the truth is, you fucked your buddy. I'm your buddy. And you wouldn't even fucking stand behind me, man. You owe me. You owe me, man. You know, go down there and ski professionally. Ski? Yes, water ski professionally. We could go down there and water ski professionally. They don't water ski in the Everglades. Yeah, they do. They're fucking alligators down there. I read about it in Field and Stream. That's a hunting magazine. You no, know, I'm serious. They got a ski team down there of about 20 people. They got 10 guys on the bottom holding up the chicks on top. You know, muscle on the bottom and holding up the pussy on top. <laughs> It'd be great. String bikinis climbing all over your body. Can I help you up, babe? She starts to climb up, they slip, you grab them by the snatch. Sorry, babe. Oh, man, come on. So they have a problem down there because they have a huge turnover. The guys are young. Oh, man. They get bored, they don't stick. We could do it. Do what? Well, you could work on the engines and if I don't make the team, I could drive the boat. That's what we do now. <laughs> yeah, but it's cold here. Think about it. Oh, Billy, do you realize that every one of your jobs, every one of your dream jobs has got to do with pussy, getting close to pussy, chopping pussy, pussy's pussy sitting up on your hand? What's wrong with that? <laughs> It'd be a perfect job, skiing, Oh. Suntan oil all over your body, oh. 12 months out of the year, snatch everywhere you look. That's the perfect job, man. I'm, I'm not interested, Billy, but send me a card, would you? The Mormons, are you serious? Yes, I mean, this is a good job. You see, um, you see the, the Mormons have this uh, incest situation. Uh, it's taboo, that's right? That's right, they've been interbreeding all these, these years. Oh, you're going insane. That's right. And so, they got to get new information in. They got to bring fresh blood into the pool, you know. Uh -huh. So, um, so they got to bring in people from the outside, you know, bring in guys from the outside to to fuck, to breathe. Come on! No, this. No, I'm serious. I mean, a friend of mine went all over uh, North Dakota trying to get a purchase on this job. See, now I know you're full of shit because the Mormons live in Utah, asshole. You see, that's how fucking stupid. Are. They're not going to put the camp in, in Utah. I mean, they got to move it. They're going to put it in North Dakota, right? This is top secret. I mean, people would be coming in from all over the place. The government would close them down. Yeah, right. That's right. I mean, for running some kind of uh, scientific sperm bank whorehouse deal, right? You got to have a license for that. Yeah, federal permit. That's right. You need a government permit for that. Um, so here's the situation. You see, you go in there for two, four, six months. How much you make? Oh, big money. I mean, ten, twenty thousand dollars. Hey, I got six months of it right now. <laughs> when at the end of that time, you see, they uh, they give you a bonus. You a, yeah, you get a boner bonus. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, your friend, uh, did he find it? <laughs> it's bullshit, man. Oh, what, what a jerk, man. 
<laughs> what, what are you doing telling me these stories? <laughs> I mean, the job didn't exist. Oh, you, you see how stupid you, do, you are? What are you doing this to it's me? It's like for? the job in the Everglades. It's like that's a, true. It's a story about. It's no, like it's a story true. about John Dillinger's cock. That's true, man. Oh, I've been hearing man. about that since high school. That's I had a friend that true. went there. It's no, so it's the Smithsonian. You got a special room, and they keep it in there. You got to ask for it. It's an adult show, man. It's like it's, like, it's a family scene at the Smithsonian. Man. Twenty-eight inches in the jar. It's a garden. Nobody's got a twenty-eight inch cock, and I even do. if they did, <laughs> they're not going to cut it off and put it in the Smithsonian. <laughs> so anyhow, so I'm in the checkout line. I'm seeing that this chick is buying like. One carrot, one zucchini, you know, banana. <laughs> the banana, cucumber, one wiener, you know. So I could tell by her groceries that she was keyed to chat. You know I mean? <laughs> and and she was, you know, I mean, if they're if they're alone, they're lonely, right? So she's this nurse, and she's dressed in white. Man, I mean, she's in a nurse's uniform. And she's reading the National Enquirer. So I said, uh, I said, hey, you know that uh, that singer, you know, the one that's got the mustache, looks like the Riverboat Gambler. So with Wayne Newton. Right, right. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I said, Fig Newton, you know, you know the, uh, was they trying to bury that guy? I said, boy, am I glad I'm not a lounge singer. <laughs> she thought that was pretty funny, you know? So I said, hey, why don't you come on down to the boat? And I grabbed some beers and went out and had some beers at the boat. Got in the bunks. And I got one of those boners. It was like, it was like, you wanted to write something down about it. I mean, you wanted to erect a plaque through it. It was like the dick that wouldn't die. <laughs> It was high heels to the sky. I fucked her so she'd stay fucked. <laughs> you made an impression. <laughs> this chick could do anything. We get it out of insane ways. None of this shit like with Alice, you know? No, Billy, please don't come in my mouth. You're gonna make me puke. You make me. You're gonna make me puke. No. <laughs> Making love with Alice is like, like she's uh, got a direct. You know? <laughs> oh, kiss me. That's nice. Yeah, right. Now feel my tits. Oh, yeah, that's right. No, don't feel my tits anymore. Grab my pussy. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah. No, no, don't grab my tits anymore. No, no, no. Now lick my pussy. Lick my pussy. Come on, lick my pussy. And she's squeezing her tits real hard, you know. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. No, wait. Oh, I think I hear the kids. No. Lick my pussy, lick my pussy, and like I'm licking, and my tongue's about ready to fall off, it's about ready to die. <laughs> Keep on licking my pussy, lick me, lick me, lick me, lick me. Oh, I'm coming. <laughs> and then maybe I get to squirt, right? <laughs> that sounds great, Billy. <laughs> well, uh, I do what I'm told. <sighs> Hold your hose for your what? 
No, I licked my muffler. God, this water's freezing. It's winter, Billy. Water freezes in the winter. Will you call Alice for me? No. Come on, just call her and ask for me. You know, see if she sounds, you know, like strange or, or, or normal. No. No, just call her and talk to her for a couple seconds. You know, see if she sounds weird. Here, I do it for you, man. Here's a quarter. That ain't gonna do you any good. It's in your clothes. You can't wash that shit out. I know. What'd she say? No answer. No? No. She's always home. You no, know, I don't know. I mean, maybe she's out fucking some other guy. You think so, huh? I'd run her over with a car. Serve you right. I don't need this shit. Boom. Billy, look, will you call her up? Just just call her up and tell her. No, man, no fucking way. She just hang up on me again. Come on, we got to go down there and talk to her. You got to help me talk some sense into her. What do you mean, we? You've got to talk some sense into this chick, Billy. There's a difference between you and we. Loan me your underwear. No. I don't wear any. What kind of asshole doesn't wear underwear? That's why the Indians wear line cloths, so their balls can hang down. It's science. That's your air conditioning. That's why they hang down. Have you ever heard yourself? Have you ever listened to yourself? If you did, you wouldn't say the things that you do. I don't wear that shit that Alice buys me, those bikini things. They're too small. They're made out of nylon or something. You know, it makes you look like a Mexican cliff diver or some faggot on the French Riviera. You know, that tight shit, that, that, that heats up your balls, you know, that gives you cancer. Come on, freeze. Balls are shriveled up like prunes. Hey, these are cute. <laughs> do you, uh, don't have any skid marks in here, do you? Fuck you. You want them or not? Yeah! I'm a rising bone. <laughs> Hey, we're almost there. Come on, might not. Give me the beer.
hard for me to call you today. I have my fucking pride, you know? Okay? Can I ask you a question, Eddie? This isn't a trip, okay? But, you know, you never said anything. And I know it's none of my business, but did your, and I'm not saying that you did, but did your going out on Jen have anything to do with your splitting up? That's right. It's none of your business. It's important to me, Eddie. You're my friend. I don't know. If I can't talk to you, who else can I talk to? Huh? I don't know why we got divorced. She did something because I did something. I did something because she did something because I did something. I mean, you ask her, she'll tell you one thing, and I'll tell you another. And it's just stories, different stories. You know, when you start out, you know, it, it's the same story. You speak the same language, and everything's great. You say, you want to go to the movies? And they say, yeah, I want to go to the movies. I say, which movie do you want to go to? And they say, I don't care, as long as it's with you. You say, you want to get married? And they say, I want to marry you. So you get married, and you start arguing, and uh, you don't speak the same language anymore. You say, this is a door. They say, that's not a door, it's a window. You say, you want to go to the movies? They say, I can't stand that movie. You say, you want to stay married? They say, I don't want to stay married to you. You say, different stories. Stop the car. What, are you gonna puke? Just stop the car. Eddie, you gonna be sick? Pull over. If you're gonna be sick, roll down the window, all right? Don't throw up in the in the car, all right? God damn it, stop it. Stop the fucking car. Stop I, the fucking car. I am, I gotta get off the highway. Okay? Eddie! I can't do it, Billy. It was a mistake. Eddie! Eddie! Come on, Eddie, just stick your fingers down your throat. Let it go! Come on! Oh, I'm freezing out here, man. Come on! Let me alone, Billy. I just want to be left alone. This is too hard. I don't want to go through this all over again. What are you talking about? You're twisted! It's hard. It's hard! If you're going to walk all the way home, you're going the wrong goddamn way, fucker! Oh, God. Great, what is this? You're going to make some snowballs? Eddie, I'm dying out here. Come on, get back in the car. Billy? No. I'll leave you out here to die, man. Billy? There could be white people in there. Oh, stop. But you couldn't see them because they're white like the snow. It's like they're camouflaged, you know what I mean? You know? I mean, do you remember when we were kids and those you had those red balloons? There could have been red dogs in there and stuff. There could have been red people, but we wouldn't have seen them because they were red like the balloon. I mean, that's like they disappeared. 
I'd like to disappear. Yeah, well, you're nuts. That's right. The good old days are gone forever, fucker. Well, fuck them. We'll go find some more. Now let's go. Faggot! Let's eat this asshole! <laughs> Get up, we got trouble. Deal with it. It's chicks. What are you doing out here in your undies, sweetheart? You got something to hide in there? Do you believe this shit? I'm waiting, baby. Yeah, I got a garden hose for a dick, lady. 28 inches. 28 inches from nip to tip. Well, roll it out, hun. Well, what are you waiting for? I got plenty of room in the back seat here. Afraid I'm too much woman for you. Fuck you. That's what I want. I want you to fuck me. Fuck me good. All 28 inches up my pussy. Ma'am, are you serious? Nail me in the back. Drill me to the seat. Come on! <laughs> Pose me down. <laughs> Who's the little twerp? That's your boyfriend? It's a road slag. Boy, I ain't leaving till I see what you got. All 28 inches. Go for it, Billy. Shut up. You stay out of this. <laughs> Yeah, come on, Billy. I'm all wet, just waiting for you to slide in. <laughs> Mother! You're so ugly, I wouldn't fuck you with his dick. You're so ugly, I wouldn't shit on your car! <laughs> that wasn't very nice, Billy. Mama's mad at you. Mama's gonna have to sit on your face. Listen, lady, I got this dick here. It's so fucking big, it would choke you and your fucking daughter. Oh, God! You disappoint me, Billy. Billy! Open the door, fucker! Come on, this isn't funny! Come to Mama, Billy. This isn't funny, man! Mama's waiting. Open the door! I'll kill you, fucker! Come to Mama, Billy. Oh. Come on yourself, bitch! I wanted a fucking man! Fucking <laughs> 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 Steve used to come to here. <laughs> Well, you know what they say. What? The higher the hair, the bigger the hole. <laughs> <laughs> Get your beer, man. They're the cops. Shit. That's cool. Another one bites the dust. Billy, I mean, you've got the philosophy of a dog. Come you on. Know, you know, if you can't fuck it or eat it, then piss on it, right? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's worse than the fags, man. Except the fags, there are such fags that they want to become girls, right? So they get an operation. Now they're sex change fags. So what happens? They go after girls. They want to become lesbo sex change faggots. They're so fucked up. They won't chop a chick when they're a guy. But now that they're girls, right, they want to fuck girls. They get their dick chopped off, but now they don't want to get jammed by guys. Now they want to lick cunt. But they're, they're frustrated because they're licking cunt, and they can't jam the chick because they don't have a dick to chop the chick with. I don't get it. You tell me. <laughs> oh, God. Sex is a spiral, man. It's too hectic. Sometimes I'm, I'm fucking one and I'm thinking about another, like I got my dick in uh, Lori and I'm thinking about Jane or how she compares to Alice or something like that. 
what's worse is sometimes I, I, I'm, I'm fucking one, and I'm thinking about one I couldn't have making this one for her, you know? <laughs> but the worst thing is, is when you wake up in the morning and you, and you find out what you went to bed with the night before, right? The night before she was some smoldering sex beef, right? Now you've gone from fantasy land to frontier land. <laughs> you've been there, right? Wouldn't it be great if you were like chopping some beef and you could come and disappear at the same time and then reappear at the bar just like in Star Trek? Beam me up, Scott. Yeah, and Charlie'd be there behind the bar and he'd see you. Oh, hi, Billy. Just get done fucking. Yeah, I just came. Yeah, you just came and you just came back. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I, I could be an ant, you know? Not like the prince of the ants or the king of the ants, but just like a worker ant, you know? I'm working in the tunnel. And I get a call. Okay, all the ants. There's a gang bang in the center room, right? <laughs> and you go down. You know, they go down the tunnel, down the center room, and they all wait in line because you know, they're ants. I mean, they're not disorderly. <laughs> Jap ants, <laughs> right? They're Jap ants, <laughs> and they're all in the line there, you know, waiting their turn. And then the the queen ant is like, you know, she's in there and she's fat. And like he goes in, you know, it's his turn. He sees her. He takes his hat off and sets it down, you know, and then climbs up on her, right? Then then fucking whips out his little dick, you know, and slams it home. Am I hurting you, baby? <laughs> Yeah, and then, then you know, he's done, right? And she hugs him, gives him a little kiss, puts back his helmet, and puts it back in his head, you know? And then he heads on down to the storeroom, moves some food up to the kitchen. No, oh, fuck. See, that's the way it should be, simple. No dancing around, just straight ahead, you know? It's too hectic this way. <laughs> so stop fucking around, man. Get off the circuit. I can't. I see him and I gotta have him. You tell me, man. When you're sitting around the house with Jen, you weren't looking at her panties, trying to see where they begin and where they end, looking at her sides, looking at her dress. Oh, man. Trying to see how her tits were. You could care less. Am I right? Because you've been there. <laughs> Don't lie to me, man. <laughs> well, with some new beef, uh, you're looking at her tits. You're trying to see if her nipples are hard, whether she's hot to trot. She wants to cha-cha-cha. Am I right? <laughs> You go to some bar, you ask her to dance. First time you feel her ass. Get that boner on, man. <laughs> right? Or the first time you smell their hair. Or the first time you get into their pants and feel their wookie. It's always the wettest. <laughs> it's a rush, man. I need that. <laughs> but do they need you? Who cares? <laughs> all your time on the dance. Well, all you really want is that one blast. You want to blow your wad and head on down the road. It's right. You think that, it, that it's, it's not for real, right? Right. It's not for real. I mean, it, uh, it doesn't mean anything. No, it's just, you know, it's just a slag. All right, but you get back to your marriage, then the reality of your marriage, that's the fucked up part about it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do you think? I didn't do it. No, no, no. You, you think, I can love her more now that I went off and chopped some stray beef. You're not going to actually right. be a better husband. It proves you're flexible. <laughs> you went in and you jammed some gash and now you're back. That's right, if you're testing it, right? You're testing it. <laughs> sure. Uh, this pussy was fine, but my old lady's pussy is actually far superior. It's actually better. Right, I found some, well, even if it isn't better, right? You came back, right? Right, you know. I found some better pussy and now I'm back. It, pr it proves I love you more. <laughs> sure, I love her more. So it's cool. Bullshit. You're bullshitting yourself again, Billy. <laughs> oh, yeah, well. We're lost. What do you mean we're lost? We're lost. You know what lost means? Yes, it means you can't find it. That's what it means. That's right. I'm lost, okay? I admit it. I was only here a couple times, and every time I was here, I was drunk. Was there ever a moment in your life when you knew what you were doing? I know what I'm doing. I just gotta figure this out. This is it, this is it, I think. Yeah, this is it. Hurry it up. Leave the, leave the car running. I'm going to wait here. No way. You'll take the car and go back to the cities. I'm not going to take the car and go back to the cities. I came down here with you, and I just let the engine run. I'm going to stay here. No. You come in. You like her. She's real nice. Damn it, Billy. Billy, give me the keys. Give me the keys. <laughs>
It's this one down here. Right? Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, we were trying to find somebody else. We must have got the wrong door. We're sorry to bother you. Merry Christmas to you. God damn you, bitch. <laughs> what are you doing? Give me the car keys. I'm going back to the car. No! No! It's what this one right here. Well, then hurry it up. I was, I was here last night. She didn't have the decoration up. <laughs> There's nobody home. Oh, there's somebody here. Hi. Surprised? You look great. Just make yourself at home. Who is this? Oh, Patty, this is Eddie. He's Patty. Do you have any idea what time it is? Well, should I? I mean, I don't know. What time you got, Eddie? It's after midnight. Jesus. Well, that's early, ain't it? Not if you have to work in the morning. Come on, Billy. What? You want us to leave, is that it? That's cool. I, mean, I drove all night to get here to see you. You want me to leave? You want me to leave now? Sure. No problem. Why do you always have to make everything so difficult? Am I being difficult? I'm sorry. Just let us uh, get a drink and warm up. We'll leave. Stay, go, I don't care. I'm going back to bed. Go ahead. You want some company? You can really be a prick. You handled that great. Well, thanks for your help. What the fuck do you expect me to do about it? You're the one who knocked her up. Just cool out, okay? Just trying to figure something out here. Well, you figure it out. I'm out of here. I'm leaving. Where are you going to go? Just get it over with. What if she cries? Just do it. Taking a bath? Either that or she's swimming. Christ. Maybe she's trying to drown herself. Right. Take a pick. The road. Come on, man. Have a drink. What if she got me something? I doubt it. Maybe we should have gotten her something. Talk to her. Okay. Just let me figure this out. Do it. I will. Just God damn it, you chicken shit. Don't think about it. Do it. I'm going, okay? Now. I'm going. 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 Now. to talk. We talked last night. We talked this morning. What in the hell are you doing here? I'm you... sorry I made you mad. What gives you the right, Billy? I missed you. Oh, give me a little credit. It's true. All we ever do is get drunk, order for pizza, and fuck. 
Well, that's fun. I mean, you know, I like that. What's wrong with that? That's what I missed. Billy, could you just take a thing away, please? Oh, come on. I mean it, Billy. Just, just get out of here. I'm serious. I'll scream. I'm going to count to ten. One, Nine, two, eight, three, seven, four, six, five, five, six, sixty-nine. Seven. Oh man, mm, this is nice. You know, you can see a good sea spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Oh, this is dirty. <laughs> out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And we get some bitsy spider. You told her? Let's go. Well, we can't. What do you mean, we can't? Well, I didn't get to the part where I was married yet. What the fuck you talk about, then? Well, I told her that if she was going to go through with this, that I was going to sue her for theft of semen. Man, you can't be serious about this shit. I am. She believed me. Well, then you're both fucked up. Well, what am I going to tell her? I already got two kids. I don't need another one. Well, Billy, what if this one's a boy? Very funny, Eddie. Well, then finish it off. I can't. She's too upset. Well, how do you expect her to feel? You're talking about killing the baby here. Come on, help me. You gotta. What can I do? Talk to her, tell her. I don't even know her. You just introduce yourself. Come on, Eddie, please, please, come on. I swear, this is the last time. I'll never ask. You, know, you do this for me, I'll do anything for you. Anything. I'll. Uh, please. I can't tell her. I can't do it. She loves me, Eddie. Regis, this is the last time I'm getting involved in your shit. I swear. Get the fuck out of here. Go, Blue. Just go ahead. I said stay out. It's not Billy. I'm sorry. Um, this isn't really me. Well, who are you? I'm, um, I'm just Eddie. Right, just Eddie. Look, um, Billy, um, Billy wants me to, um, to tell, he wants, wants me to talk to you. Got a light? Yeah. 
somewhere. Thanks. No, you shouldn't smoke that shit. You're pregnant. It's, uh, it's bad for the baby. <laughs> You're right, Eddie. But this is one time I really don't care. Do you want some? You've got a ring on. Are you married? Was. Didn't work out. Why do you still wear it then? I don't know. It's. It's habit, I guess. You want it? Sure. No. You keep it. Really bothers you, doesn't it, not being married anymore? Yeah. I mean, sometimes it does. You know, but it's it's like it uh, you know it was in another life or something like it uh, never happened. So what happens when you see her now? How does it feel? Or don't you do that? Do what? See her. Oh yeah, I, you know, I, I see her once in a while. We, um, we have kids, you know, uh, uh, two kids, and uh, a dog named Howard. Howard? You named your dog Howard? That's terrible. <laughs> What'd you name your kid? <laughs> no, I'm. Is that really creative like that? <laughs> I mean, um, that's that's that was his name, you know. I mean, it was named when we when we got him. I mean, it's not it's not my fault. <laughs> right, you're Howard. <laughs> <laughs> so how does it feel? What having a dog named Howard? <laughs> no, no. I mean, how does it feel when you see her? Feels odd, I guess. just feels odd. Odd? Yeah, I mean, seeing her now is odd. I mean, I don't know another word for it. It's, uh, you know, suddenly this person you spent all this time with, uh, now telling you her problems and, uh, you know, her involvement with another guy. I mean, it's not that I'm, um, you know, torn up about it or super jealous. It's, uh, It's hard. <laughs> but life goes on, right? Yeah, badly. <laughs> you know, more or less. Um, what about you? Have um, you ever been married? No, I never want to get married. I, I never met a woman who didn't want to get married. You're an experienced kind of guy, aren't you, Eddie? <laughs> Seen them all. Never met a one who didn't want to get married. Well, look, I, I, I didn't mean, I didn't mean that. Uh, why not? It's fattening. <laughs> and then one day. I think I was in high school or something. I was in the grocery store, and there they all were, you know, the wives, overweight, with curlers in their hair, chucking stuff into their baskets to kill their husbands with. <laughs> and the husbands get fat, too. I mean, who needs it? I don't. No thanks. Why do people get like that when they get married? They don't always have to. Well, that's true, I know, but I'm afraid it would happen to me. I don't know if I could stay married. I mean, he'd have to be faithful. 
And that's a problem? Yeah, it is. What if I met a guy and really fell in love with him so much that I had to get married to him? Then it would have to be just him, right? I mean, that's the way it should be, just him. And then what if I started feeling unattractive and um, some guy came along and made me feel attractive again? And then what have you got? Arguments with your husband, he leaves, I leave, I don't know. It's too complicated. I don't want to live a life full of regrets. Besides, I enjoy being attractive. I have men watching me. I really do. You know, the whole chase, watching all the bullshit they go through, all the numbers you do, the whole dance. You know what, Eddie? It's the kiss. The kiss? lips first touch mine. That's when I know. That's when I make my final decision. Am I going to sleep with this guy or not? <laughs> hi. Oh, hi, Billy. Oh, hi. Can I come in? Go away, Billy. Oh, I just want to know how you're doing. How are you doing? We're doing great, Billy. Now go away. You okay, Eddie? Yeah, I'm okay. We're fine. So get out of here and shut the door. Okay, fine. No problem. What do you see in him? Billy? I think he's cute. Makes me laugh. He's also married. Is that what you came in here to tell me? Yes. I kind of thought so. You did? Yeah, kind of. You can tell. How so? I don't know. The things you do, the places you go or don't go. But if you knew, I mean, why did you, why did you uh, go out with him? I thought, I don't know. I don't know what I thought. I, Billy, he's, he, well, he's your friend. Yeah. Billy's fucked up. <laughs> that theft of semen thing he laid on me? If it wasn't so ridiculous, it's sad. <laughs> what's, what's sad is that he, he really believes this shit. He's not very bright, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Some dim, dim light bulb. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you his friend? Oh, he's, um, I don't, I don't know. He's, he's pretty entertaining. I wish you were somebody else. All the time. Who would you be? I don't know. Not anybody but me. Why, don't you like yourself? No, it's, it's not that. I mean, 
Well, maybe it is. You know, I mean, it's just, um... I mean, it's just not what you thought it would be, you know? I mean, somewhere you, you fucked up. I mean, somewhere down the line, something went wrong, and uh, you spend the rest of your life trying to figure it out. I mean, my, uh, my old man, uh, he used to sit and he'd go, oh, I don't know. I mean, he'd just be sitting there. You know, you know this is even before he got sick. And uh, he'd say, I don't know. And I'd say, what, Daddy? And he'd say, what, Eddie? And I'd say, what, Daddy? What don't you know? And he'd say, I don't know. Just sitting there staring off into space like that? Yeah, any time. I mean, he'd be walking through the house, or we'd be out in the yard, and he'd... Um, He'd have a thought, and he'd go, I don't know. I don't know. And I guess, guess you never do figure it out. I don't know. I'm just like my father. Billy. Billy's not here now, is he?
Hi, Eddie. friend you turn out to be. Look, man. It's true. I mean, it just happened. Yeah. Yeah, you just happened to uh, come in here and fuck her. That's not... You chop my beef, fucker. It's not the way it went down. Yeah? How'd it go down? Don't. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. She's a good fuck. It's probably been a while since you haven't had to pay for it. Fuck you. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Christ, you're acting like a couple of babies. Just stop it! I saw you first! I don't belong to anybody. Slut. Oh, that's great. That's wonderful. I'm the slut, huh? Is there anything else you'd like to call me? Some of your favorite names? Hose monster, maybe? Slash, gash, piece of ass, twat, slit? Come on, something else? Try whore. Oh, yeah, whore's good, too. What do you call a guy who fucks around on his wife, Billy? What do you call him? Asshole. You should know. I'll tell you. You do shit. Stop it! <laughs> Fucking stop it! You're gonna wreck everything! Stop She didn't have to bite me. Is it bleeding, Eddie? Oh, God. God. Christ, get a Band-Aid. Shut up, bitch, man. Fuck you, Billy. Fuck you. I'm sick of your shit and all these names. I'm not a bitch meat. I'm not a slut. This isn't high school anymore. I'm a grown-up. I have sex when I want to. It doesn't make me a slut. You don't respect me anymore? That's fine. I don't respect you either. You can't even be honest with me. <laughs> what is it with you? What are you here for anyway? You can't fuck your wife like you fucked me, huh? Or haven't you even tried? Would you turn her into your mother? I don't need to hear this. I'm out of here. That's right. You're out of here. Billy, I want to get one thing straight with you. I don't expect you to stay here and have the baby with me. I don't expect to see you again. Oh, bullshit, come on. What happens when you run out of bread? I know I'm going to get a call. Why don't you help me out here? Why don't you come down and see the baby? Christ, Patty, I don't need that shit. What do you want from me? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But I want this baby, Billy. And I'm going to have the baby, and there's nothing you can do about it. I'm out. Yeah. Fine. You're happy, I'm happy. Fine. Eddie? Well, congratulations. And, uh, here we are, huh? So, I'm, can I get something to eat here? Sure. I mean, I'm hungry, okay? Why don't, why don't you sit down in here, okay? Come on, let's sit down. All right, you too, Eddie. Come on, let's sit down. I want to get something to eat here. You hungry, Eddie? That's what we got here. Wheaties, good. I'll need my strength. It's going to be a long ride home. Get some milk. Okay. Need some spoons. Don't worry, Patty. I know where they are. Okay. 
some balls. Got it. You can eat. So, what are you going to name the kid? I mean, have you given that any thought? How about Billy? That'd be good, huh? Or what about um, William Edward? You'd like that, huh, Eddie? Shut up. Don't tell me to shut up! You fucked her too! You're part of this! Shut up, Billy! Christ! I fucked a lot of guys. Some of them I can't even remember. Some of them I don't want to remember. If it wasn't for the baby, I probably wouldn't remember you. Right. You don't have the slightest clue to what I need, to what I really want, do you? I know what you want. You liked it. You came back for more. Right. <laughs> I fucked your brains off. The bitch be fine now. No problem. Yeah, I liked it, Billy. Sure, I liked it. You're a good fuck. Thanks. Better than him? Of course you want to know that. Right. Jeez, what a complex you guys have. You and your big cocks, right? What do you want? Points like for diving? 8.6, 7.8, Do you ever think about us when you're done? I mean, what is it? You just hope that we're satisfied? I mean, tell me. I want to know. What is it? Just fill the hole and come? Is that all there is? Basically. Doesn't it ever get boring? It's a man's world, baby. Where would you be without us, Billy? How could you get your rocks off? How could you feel superior? Who could you have to feel superior to? Eddie? I could function. Yeah, with your right hand. You stay out of this. Anything else, I want you out of my life. Just like that. Just like that. Got like a memory. Like a bad memory. There it is. Do you have any kids, Billy? No. Come on. I'm just asking. Really, I don't care. I mean, do you have any kids? No. Yes, he does. He has two. You do? What are they, girls or boys? Or... Two girls, yeah. Well, that's great. What do they look like? Can I see a picture? No, I don't have any. Yes, you do. Come on, show it to me. Just let me see. I want to see your kids. Oh, God. Oh, they're cute. Oh, that's great. This one looks like you. Oh, it's Elizabeth, huh? That one's Elizabeth. She's uh, she's a young one. The other one's uh, Amelia. <laughs> Elizabeth. Uh, <laughs> she's 
tells these jokes and baby talk. And, you know, nobody can understand them, but everybody thinks they're real funny, you know. And Amelia's four. She's the, uh, she's like a, you know how four-year-olds are. They're like fantasy princesses, you know, and, uh, you know, she never wants to get her hair washed, so. We always had to tell her Mr. Penguin's on the ceiling, so she talks to Mr. Penguin and puts her head back and gets her uh, gets her hair wet, and um, then we can wash her hair. You know, they're both real smart. I love them a lot. Let's go. Come on. Let's say goodbye. Goodbye. Billy. For the baby. It's nice to meet you. I think I, uh, I think I forgot my wallet. I gotta go back in, but just a minute. Patty rocks. It's perfect. Are you sleeping? No. I've been thinking. Oh, really, Billy? About what? Well, I figured out a way to go. Now, get this. It's called pay as you go. You know, it's the only way. Whenever you want sex, you just buy it. You don't have to be married anymore or have a steady chop on the side. I don't want to hear this. No, listen, it's cheaper in the long run. I mean, whenever you're horny, you just pay for sex once or twice a week. That way you don't have to have somebody around, you know, seven days a week, 24 hours a fucking day. You don't have to feed and clothe them, you know, medical and doctor bills, shoes for the kids. It's the only way. Whenever you want sex, you just pick up the phone, call some babes, and uh, put it on your credit card. That way you get exactly what you want, a blonde or a redhead. No problem, send them right over. See, if you're stuck with your wife, then you're stuck to what exactly she is. I mean, this way, you can go black, white, Indian, Eskimo. It's like a supermarket for beef. You, know, you want some T-bone? Okay. You want a porterhouse? No problem. Sirloin tip? We got it. A little low on bread and you're going for a hamburger? A little hamburger helper will fix that. Billy, there's a word for that.
scientists should study you. I mean, they should see. They should look. I mean, they really should. What if, what if you were really a techno head and you read all those manuals and everything like that, and you built in the basement, um, you know, like a, a robot chick. You know, you're having like robot love in the basement. You know, and it was a latex chick with with real hair. You know, or you know, fake hair, but it looked real, and a beautiful, just full on body. You know, and so you're down in the basement, and you're jamming away on this robot, and she goes, "Dude, yeah, what are you doing down there? I mean, you." Who are you fooling around with? You come upstairs, right, and you know, she checks your dick, and you got a little pre come on that like, clear stuff, you know, a little pre come on there, and she says, Aha! See, you were doing something down there! I mean, she, could she call you for it or what? <laughs> no, I, I think you should you just tell her that, that you had an industrial accident. <laughs> <laughs> right, you're testing the products. Like in space, they'll probably need, on the moon, they're gonna need a lot of these chicks anyhow, right? And some for the girls too, you know? They get like, you know, they'd be the Isaac Hayes model, you know, that would talk soft and carry the big stick, you know? And then, then they'd be like, you know, I don't know. But you know, on the capsules like that, how are you ever gonna get laid? What if you like, you're in space, right, and you blow your wad, right, and you shoot it off into space, would it go for infinity? <laughs> Until it hit us like an asteroid. Billy, stop it. No, and then they have these Billy, Billy, they Billy, burn Billy, off. Billy, stop it.